This week's video might be one of my favourite sessions we've had on the channel yet. We're jumping into a climbing technique masterclass with a focus on being powerful and decisive in your climbing. We're joined by none other than multiple time US national champion Alex Puccio. She is an incredible athlete known for her very impressive power and it was really great to chat to her about what she terms fluency in the language of climbing. I learned a lot and I hope you do too. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today we have a very exciting guest and we're in a very cool space. I am here with Alex Puccio. If you are not familiar <laughs> Familiar with Alex and I would be very very surprised but Alex is a very very experienced competition climber turned rock climber and, and today, board climber <laughs> and but kilt board climber so today we are going to be hitting up this beautiful kilt board behind me we are at the kilter offices and we are going to be having a session on the board so this is a slightly unfamiliar territory for me I don't really board climb you do a lot of board climbing I right? do. I so do. what is it that you have in store for me today well, um, you know, you, we ha you have your different movement styles. If it's like, if it's slab, if competition style, you have traditional, like kind of just like lock off crimping if you're going to be climbing outside. Mm -hmm. And then board style is more powerful, dynamic, but um, also you have to have all the components still together. If it's like your footwork, especially on smaller footholds, mm -hmm. you have to have core tension, footwork, um, shoulder strength, stability, okay. and confidence. Yes. It's like a huge component to yeah. being able to like do the moves that if you're a little bit insecure with. I am going to give this a go. I'm not exactly sure what it is or what grade it gets, but um, I'm going to hop on and see Perfect. how it goes. Remember the confidence. <laughs> confidence. Yes. Intent. Nice. Yep. Come on. Yep. And then roll out. Come on. Yes. Remember, no matching, so you have to go left hand to this. Come on. Yep. Come on. Beautiful. Nice. Brilliant. Look at that. I was hoping you weren't going to hesitate for the big move either. I was like, don't hesitate. I did. My head definitely went to right yeah. hand. You were like, it's left. And I was like, okay, cool. Nice. That was sick. Good Thank job. Thank you. Yeah, Brilliant. that was cool. It's definitely, um, board climbing definitely has a very different style to the style that I yeah. am used to. It's very, you can't get away with my like comfort blanket of pulling up and then going. Like movements off. have to be yeah. a lot more fluid. And this is like something I, so the body is one big chain and if you have a kink in the chain, it's not gonna move properly or fluidly. So if you have, um, I always say it starts at the feet. And so you have to have your feet on these energy pods. And so the electricity yeah. with energy to get to the next hold starts at the feet, not at okay. the arms. So if you're gonna climb a little bit more robotically and you're walking off and pulling up and then reaching, you don't really have momentum to get to the next hold. Mm -hmm. So instead, I think it's better if we try to like focus on our feet and our legs doing more of the work or the harder sure. work and then our arms assisting our legs versus yes. pulling which would be then our arms doing the work and our legs assisting our arms yes so i think i definitely notice in my own climbing and i think i've probably talked about this on the channel a lot before that i do climb with my arms and i everything is like reaching to the next hold or yep. thinking about my hands making contact with the next hold and like leaving my lower body behind yeah and then you get so stretched out you're like Oh no like now yeah. i'm in a position or i'm really stretched out and i can't like get my feet up or it's harder sure. to get your feet up um and so i think it's really important today to be more dynamic yeah. and powerful that we work on getting this like flow with our hips which then if our feet are not on the energy pods or the footholds correctly we're not going to be able to start that momentum and that energy and so when we do in a little bit we'll show you how to like use that momentum through your mm -hmm. hips so your legs will be the first thing that go in your hips and then your arms will follow through okay like a slinky yeah it's like yeah, i'm like you <laughs> okay. know yeah so it's like dancing kind of on the wall yeah and so but the more robotic we are our hips are not going to be the more stiff we are and one of those things like when we get nervous or scared or have this like negative mindset then we become more stiff and if we're stiff um then we can't feel the movement. And remember like that being fluid in the uh, language of climbing, you want to be able to think less, feel more, and just mm -hmm. know naturally what your body wants to do to do the move as easy as possible. Yes, okay. So you picked out something that I did in the warm up, which is try a boulder and like kind of like 
half go for the move and then jump off. Mm -hmm. And you reminded me that that is part of the negative mindset because yeah. I'm teaching myself that I can't go for it and reinforcing that belief that the move is too hard rather yeah. than trying to go for it a little bit, falling, committing to falling and learning more about what it feels like yeah. to actually go for it. And learning that, oh, wow, okay, it's not as far as I thought. I got really yeah. close, I almost stuck the move. It, yeah, so yeah. it's like light bulb moments yeah. and they help you be like, okay, now I just have to try a little harder or maybe I have to tweak something, but I can actually do this. Yes. Okay, perfect. Well, let's do this Do you want to go thing. for this first? What would you Just like? Show me the way. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> not that's not my negative mindset. That's just no. It's just uh, just <laughs> me being polite. <laughs> okay, and I think another thing is like having this ego, and I see it all the time. If people have egos when they're going to train, it's really going to hold them back. Yeah. So anyone who ever coaching, I say you have to hang up your ego at the front door when you check in to go training. Mm -hmm. You can pick it up when you leave. And by what I mean when I say ego is if we or a V6 climber and we're falling on a V3. Mm -hmm. We're like, oh, who's watching? Or, oh, that like makes me feel bad or I'm not as good or not as validating. But honestly, grades are so subjective and they don't even matter. Yeah. And in the grand scheme of things, if you want to get better faster, you should be working on your weaker styles more often than our strong suits, so. Yeah. Which means fighting that ego. All right, so obviously, I wasn't gonna skip some holes and I was like, maybe to show you, I'm not gonna skip holes. <laughs> I almost skipped this one. Um, when you're here and here, I could have got my left foot up as well. So you can bring yourself a little higher and you don't have to do, Yeah, it's still the same distance, but maybe it's like a little less daunting or mm -hmm. intimidating. Okay. So you I'm can gonna, do this. Yeah, I'm gonna try and apply the positive mindset because my first thought might have been, wow, that looks like a really big move. But, but then it, I tried it's to recognizing that, okay, that is a negative mindset. Sure. And, okay, that looks fun. I want to do that. Yeah. I want to get better at this. Okay, so that looks like a really big move and I'm psyched to try it. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Wow, you skipped a hold. Oh. Come on, that's good. Come on. Yep. Oh. Come on. At least go for it. Come on. Yes. Yeah, that is sick. Come on, you have another foot too. Where's my other the foot? The left one by your knee, if you want it. The big one, yes, come on, it's a good hold. Come on, yes, <laughs> nice. Okay, that was fun. Yeah, see, that's like, <laughs> and you got like way closer than you thought you were gonna yeah, get, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I won't lie, I going for that one, I was like, I'm just gonna go and try and touch it, and then I got it, and I was like, <laughs> Oh, you surprise yourself, like, oh my gosh, I'm here. I've done that so many times, you're like, okay, wh what now, what no, now? No, and then I, was like, next one. I was like, your left foot, and you're like, where's my left foot? I'm like, it's by your knee. As I say, the like, body's always like that chain reaction, so if it starts at our feet and the energy pods, I'm always watching my feet be placed on the footholds 100% correctly, because if they're not on perfect, then they might slip or I won't be able to generate as much out of them. So first step is always making sure my feet are on the footholds exactly how I want them and the exact part of the foot onto that hold that I want. So now I know they're there, they're great, they're perfect, I can leave them. If you ever see people like tapping a foothold, kind of like this, but they're not really watching it and they're looking up and their foot's doing this, I mean, you're taking your weight off the foothold. Mm -hmm. So therefore you're not trusting it. So that's why we watch it. We put all of our body weight through it and then we can leave it and actually push off of it. For this section of the video, I wanted to give one an announcement and two you chat about the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. So for the holiday season, we've released a new t-shirt design and some festive items in the Hannah Morris Bouldering Shop. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that we use Squarespace for all of our online shop needs. I've been with Squarespace for years now. I think their templates are really beautiful, but aside from aesthetics, the process of creating new product pages in the shop and keeping track of everything you need is next level. I actually listed all of these items from my phone in a climbing wall and you wouldn't know it because Squarespace's back end is so easy it looks like it took me a lot longer presentation wise than it actually did. If you're hoping to create your own online presence, maybe you're hoping to start a blog next year, honestly Squarespace is your friend. You can head to squarespace.com forward slash Hannah Morris and use code Hannah Morris for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So after we have our feet and our hands set up, the next thing is to get momentum to get to the next hold. So I call it, we're creating lines and we have to gain momentum somehow. So you start in a neutral position. Neutral position, hips are into the wall. Even being out like this, I can feel more tension on my shoulders, my fingers and my elbows. But the more my hips go in, that tension comes off. So it's a more neutral, relaxed position. 
So from here, if I'm crossing left hand, if I'm going from neutral straight up, the first thing that bends is my right arm and it's starting to lock off. If I wanna gain momentum for that not to happen, I have to come back down and swing over. So therefore, I'm actually doing that move more efficiently. This would just be straight lock. This is gaining momentum to go into it. So the first thing that moves are my hips, not my arm. Again, always looking at the feet. Hips in the opposite direction of the hold you're going for. Feet, and again, opposite direction. And up. Nice. So I'll do it the same way as you're doing it. Here and here. So I'm setting up. So this is a straight up and down move. So hips are gonna go down and up. Sure. So if you saw my left foot just about stayed yeah. on that when I got there, because I can't actually reach it. Okay. So the hips are always going to go in the opposite direction of the hold you're going to first. Mm -hmm. So if you're going right, the hips are going to go left and creating like it's an extension of a line. So if you're neutral and you go from neutral, the first thing that's going to bend is here. The hips aren't moving yet. Yeah. To get the hips moving first, you go here and then the arm will bend secondary. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, so you're doing the, Gaining most the, of the momentum. hard work with your the yes. lower part of your body and then, and then the finishing arm off assists. the movement with the arms or yeah, like passing on that momentum up the chain yep. to your arms rather than tiring out your arms on every move doing yep. this. I think even with sport climbing, it's the same exact thing where if you can make every move feel as easy as possible, mm -hmm. then you're going to be able to have more energy to mm -hmm. either do a long boulder problem, even a short and sharp boulder problem or a route or anything. So mm -hmm. climbing efficiently and it's like the big umbrella and there's all these different aspects of how to climb more efficiently. Mm -hmm. It's never ending really. <laughs> <laughs> so much info. Just use more momentum. Try to get those hips going. Beautiful, that's so much better. Yes, get the feet set up, right? And then left, come on. Yes, yes, sick. Nice, yeah. heck yeah. Oh. <laughs> As we trip over our own top back. Coordinated on the wall, but not off the wall. Yeah, I know. On sick, but... how'd that feel? That was so much, yeah, it felt so much better. I think that was great. And even going, I actually liked how you went to when you skip the hold and the momentum going to that right hand pinch. I think that was like kind of your best movement on the whole climb. That was really cool. Yeah, and I think it kind of snowballed from that move. Like I could, I felt the confidence build as I was climbing. Like I was like, okay, I hit that good. That's going well. Okay, I'm really gonna set up to do this. Yep. Okay, that went well, so I'm just gonna give it all. And you didn't like stop and pause so much to think about it or anything. You kind of just like took over and you're like, sure. you had that confidence and you just went for it instead of like staying on hold, being like, oh, okay, okay my setup, what do I do? Yeah. And you had that Definitely. just like natural progression on it. I think what I was consciously doing as I was climbing was trying not to fight my body, like trying not to slow my body down, like really trying to build a bit of a rhythm, I guess. Yeah to be like, okay, this move, then this move, then this move, and then go. Rather I loved than, it. Oh, you didn't really you walk off, which is great. Like your style, you say you always do like walk yeah, off yeah. and like reach, like you didn't do maybe only the first move, but then, cause it yeah. kind of allows itself to be that type of way, but everything else you like went for, sure. which was awesome. Yeah. I think we should do another jumpy one. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. This is a V5, 60 mm -hmm. plus. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's like still like punchy, but I think this is one you could potentially walk off a little bit, but I'd rather you not. Okay. Try and not so I think to. it's really cool to get on climbs that like, one, there's only one way to do it, but then also ones there's a couple different ways to do it. So climbing more efficiently would be able to get momentum. Doesn't mean jumping and like dynoing and being dynamic kind of like are under that same, that same umbrella, but they're all quite different at the same time. So yeah. like use momentum can still be dynamic and then it's different than like a slow walk off, right? Yeah. So try to be playful, like less stiff, like kind of you were less like, like momentum. <laughs> um, and if you need a jump, then that's like on that last one, doing that last move, that's how you, when you had a jump for the last move. Yeah. Get those feet set perfectly. Try to use more momentum and have the hips in the other direction. Yeah? Come on, Anna. Yes. Stand tall. Nice. 
Beautiful. Okay, that's a walk off. Hips down. No. Yes. Nice. Come on. Get it back. You got it. You got it. Hips oh. down. And up. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Nice. Nice. So we flashed it, but I think now, so I'll climb it and then I want you to climb it more flowy and using more momentum. So anytime you're doing like this, you're yeah. still locking off. There will be a move sometimes that you have to stay like this or you're going to, you know, lose tension and come off the hold, but times when you don't need to, and you can stay under the hold and on your feet. And there's a couple of times that I think on this hold, you did a bit of the tapping with your foot, your left foot. So yeah, your hands yeah, are yeah. here. And it's when we get more nervous, either tunnel vision or nervous or any type of energy where we're like, oh, that negative feeling in our body, then sure. like we'll start doing the tapping with our foot. Like even though it's a huge foothold, it's like, okay, I I'm set up. Am I there? Am I ready? Or we'll revert to, you know, bad habits like yeah. walking off or something or not using momentum. And these are the times that you learn in competitions, especially like, okay, I have to actually be more calm where I've actually closed my eyes while I'm on the wall or breathe or self-talk like Alex, you can do this, feel it out. And I'll breathe, relax my body, straighter arms, or do something to gather myself for that moment. Sure. So it's like taking these little tricks and like, and to enter, like to adapt new um, habits and like get rid of old or bad ones, it mm -hmm. takes so much mental energy. So every time you're training, like I always say, try to do it while you're warming up because you're also warming up your mind, yeah. Yeah, not yeah, just sure. your muscles. Um, and then also just like kind of do it, implement it in the harder climbs, but yeah. then be nice to yourself afterwards and then kind of just go back to, you know, maybe the last half of the session, just like not thinking you're beating yourself up so much and have fun and yeah. yeah. So every session you're like, you're training your brain to do mm -hmm. these new habits, but it can be exhausting and beating yourself up the whole entire time. Yes, for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna try to climb it with more momentum, more flow. Yeah. Remember like, even when you're going to the first hold, you got the neutral potty position, yeah. but then you just went straight up instead of like getting momentum through the hips to get up. Yeah. And it can be more subtle sometimes as well, depending on the move and how much momentum you actually need to get to the next hold. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Press them. Yes, so much better. Better, come on. Hips, okay. Ooh. That was a reach. Got two, That's right? okay. About it. Why? Matt, this feet. happened last time. Left foot up and then hips down and up. Yes. And hips. Whoop. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was like. No, but like. <laughs> fingertips. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank I think you. the cool thing about this is like some moves, yes, were worse than in your comfort zone before, but then <laughs> you actually got out of your comfort zone and did moves that you wouldn't normally do them in that style, which is learning and so much better. You're, you're adapting actually really, really well. Thank and so you. the more you're just practicing it on your own all the time, you're gonna get so much better faster. If you only practice it once in a while, then of course you're not gonna get better as fast. So yeah, yeah I okay. think that's really good. And you're getting out of your comfort zone. You're doing things like, okay, and then you're talking yourself through it, which is like sure. really cool to see that whole entire process. I feel like somewhere around here, when I lost the foot, the panic <laughs> set in. I was like, it's gone, it's so gone. So remember when you get your foot back on, like, so going to this hole, this is the one you walk off to all the time. When you're here and here, you can just get your left foot on and then straighten the arms a bit and then you can yeah. go like this to go to it. As soon as you kind of get in this little like, oh, I feel a little uncomfortable for whatever reason, you just start to stay in this and then you kind of finish off the climb in that way too. Yeah. Which you're going to keep making it harder for you mm -hmm. it, by doing that. So remember, even if you do a move, if you say a big, powerful move, and then you get your feet back on, you can go back into relaxing if that like move allows you and then like Reset. save a little bit yeah. of like energy to get to the next hold. Plan is, so the climb that we tried, not the last climb we tried, the climb before that, I think. Maybe a few, yeah. We have now got on the 50? No, 40. 40. 40 degree. We're so at 30 before. <laughs> we, yeah, we were at 30 before, now we're at 40. And we're going to try the same climb. I'm going to apply the same principles and see what uh, changes, what feels the same, how we apply the principles we talked about to a steeper angle, and see what we can learn from the same climb on a different angle. Brilliant. So, That's it. That's the plan. Let's do it. So, now I have to remember. I feel like I maybe won't be skipping. The, you won't what? The move. So 
the last time I climbed it, I went straight to this one. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's going to feel the same. Honestly. I honestly, I wouldn't ever think it. Remember, those are the things like you have it and just be like, your body will take over. Like if you allow your body to speak to you, like in your mind, it'll tell you um, what it like is the easier way versus like when people are thinking like, like I said, it's like being fluent in the language of climbing. Like if you have to sit there and think, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Like this is just like, if you allow your body just to tell you what is the easier way and like look around and when you feel yourself like, oh, I'm uncomfortable, this position feels worse, this hold feels worse, this foot is worse, like, than I thought it was going to feel like, try to, like, quiet your brain and relax, and, like, look around, scan the wall, be like, oh, look, there's a volume out there, like, say you're on a normal boulder palm or something, mm -hmm. or, oh, there's a foot over there that I forgot about, mm -hmm. but, like, if you're stiff and, like, you're kind of panicking a little bit, or your heart rate is racing and your breathing is more shallow, like, it's going to be harder to, like, feel things out and like be in the right positions and you're going to be stiff and then it's just not going to be as nice for you. Okay. So yeah. Rough it. draft plan. <laughs> nice confidence. Nice. Solid. Amazing. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Adjust if you need. Get the thumb. Yes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that was great. <gasps> That went a lot better than I was expecting, yeah. actually. You hesitated quite a bit on this, like, move yeah. going up, but I think, like, I think you can do this one for sure. I know you can do it. I'm going to climb the climb same this one. Yeah. And then you're going to climb I'm it again, climb and you're going to do it. Yes. Okay. That's the plan. Yeah, nice. It's funny to see how it definitely, I wanted to skip it again, that one hold, that yeah. pinch down there. It actually is a lot harder at mm. 10 extra degrees to skip it. But um, yeah, and I wanted, if you took note of that, every time I'm placing my feet, especially on these, like I watch it 100%, put my pressure, then I look. So every time, remember, just mm -hmm. make habit of it. Doesn't matter if the foothold's huge or tiny, just make good habit. Nice. Come on. Yes. Beautiful. Right. Oh no. Oh. Did I put my right foot up last time? No, you didn't. I almost messed you up there because I thought you did. I was like, oh, that was good though. I want you to do, I would say the biggest move. I would try it one more time and I would just start it from here and here. Do this move and do the and last, the last move. move. Yeah. Okay. Come on, tight on the feet. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Adjust. There you go. Watch the feet. Come on. Stand up and them hips in. Ah, oh, that was closer though. I could try to repeat this one. This is a, what do you think of this one? Is this like a, a what would you call it? Like a ro campus rose move? This is a. Um, oh. How? How? How do you know that? <laughs> 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 How do you know? Impressive climbing trivia. I wonder if I could do that today. Should I try it? Yeah. All right. It's a V11 at 40. I've done it at 50, which is V12, but sometimes a day doesn't lend itself to uh, always repeating climbs that you've done before. Yeah. So strong. Yeah, so strong. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So strong. I should do a friend. Woo! Oh. Easy. Well, I don't know. It didn't feel quite that easy, that but. Was <laughs> incredible to watch. Oh, okay, your turn. <laughs> Alex has an appointment that she needed to hop off to, so Robin I'm stepped, stepped in. in. He's switching roles from, well actually no, you're staying in the, in the spotting role. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I've basically got longer arms, longer limbs. <laughs> but you're also going to be helping me out with these movements, so something that you've identified 
is you think watching back my most successful attempts on the phone, you think that I need to be um, engaging a little bit more of a drop knee position to go for the, the big move. Would you yeah. say that was? Essentially what's happening in that video is that the right side is being slightly redundant. So if you look at the footage, Hannah's basically got the height, but she's got so much momentum from right to left. And if you look at the video back in slow motion, she's releasing a little bit early and pushing her body weight too far. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try and tweak a little try thing. Not do that. We're gonna climb into the move that has previously been a little bit like 50-50 for me, the kind of like shallow pinch. Yeah. And then we're gonna try and sort out those feet and that, um, yeah, the arc of my hips, I guess. So you're gonna really push on the side of this. Um, Got so high, you're gonna pull your weight, ready? I'm barely doing anything there, but you have to be able to be confident in pulling your weight yeah. onto the right foot to give you that propulsion. Uh -huh. We have switched up, we're still on the same climb, still the same little mini project that I have going on, but Robin has changed it to 35? 35 degrees. 35 degrees, whereas it was previously at 40, so I'm hoping that the angle change will make things feel a little bit nicer. But um, I'm definitely in that period of time at the end of a session where I'm like trying to read my energy levels. I'm trying to figure out like if I'm done or if I have like still a couple of things to learn whilst I'm still a bit fatigued. So we will see. We'll see how this go feels and then we'll check back in. See what the, the next step is. Good, really good, come on. You're there, come on. Yes, come on. Awesome. Okay. Well, that, well, was that made quite that a was excellent. Difference. That was beautiful. Because the angle was a bit kinder, mm -hmm. I could really apply the principles without having to worry about uh, like powering out. On the yeah, wall. without being too physically stressed. But I could see your intention. You placed the foot. You listened to what Alex said. So place the toe, set up. I'm ready to go. Sag down. Yeah. really drive and it's like perfectly executed you actually looked like you really committed to it too it's like slam dunk it was yeah. good yeah i caught the top hole with i think my pinky dropped off yeah it did, like, it did. Oh, okay i'm just gonna like yeah just them. go yeah that counts as a match oh, cool. well that was awesome maybe you needed more almonds and then that, maybe that's it i just had to wait for them, just to, to, wait for the them to kick in um i'm personally keen to go 30 you've done you did the move pretty easily at 35 Let's do 37 and a half. Okay. Perfect. Come on. That's it. Oh. Good. <laughs> That's good. I tried. I did no, you try. You did try, yeah. You can definitely 100% do that. And I this this route. And I think it's a real positive. And being really self-aware mm -hmm. is crucial for your for your own climbing. Yeah. We really kind of promote filming yourself. We film ourselves all the time on these boards specifically because you can fail and you can fail by millimeters. Yeah. And sometimes it's so explosive and fast moving, it's hard to see why. And then you look back at that video in slow motion, you mm -hmm. go, oh, I was too front on, or it could be such minutia yeah. that throws you off. Really nice to find like a really good level of challenge in an anti-style where sure. it's like, it does feel very possible and it's always nice to leave a session feeling like perhaps the weakest link right now having learned what i've learned during the session is yeah, energy for sure so i can come back with more energy with more energy and, and i think it's always some people always well some people look at that as going oh i haven't done the climb it's a negative thing but obviously we're always going to come across climbs that we have to come back for which yeah. I think is a really good opportunity. Like you just said, you can go away, come back with renewed energy, and then just mm -hmm. apply all of these, uh, these aspects with, yeah, with, yeah. with more almonds in you. Yeah, a few more almonds. That brings to an end our session on the kilter. Thank you so much yes, that for your was time fun. and all your tips. I de I'm really, really pleased with how much progress I saw from like the first climb where you like called me out on dropping <laughs> off and not actually trying to like really giving it some proper oh i and i saw a tremendous difference so and again just like keep practicing it like every time 
and like and it doesn't even have to be on a board these types of moves like it could be on any like it could be anything that you're insecure with or weaker styles um, just kind of build that confidence go for it have that positive mindset and really just like put your all and then if you get kind of closer you're like oh that light bulb moment mm -hmm. I got closer than I thought I was going to which then you try a little bit harder or you change your beta a little bit yeah um, but yeah like you are definitely on the right path and I think you did absolutely amazing today yeah thank you very much I'm definitely excited to give this a few more burns yeah and see where I can get on it but yeah like I said thank you so much for your time Alex and Robin who you've seen as uh, chief power spotter yep. in this video <laughs> run rope which is a coaching business. So if you're in the market for some coaching, either in person or virtually, then I'm gonna leave all of the information to Rope in the description of this video. So go and check out Alex and Robin. And I'm gonna leave uh, their Instagrams in the description as well. So go check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to hop on the board yourself or push yourself out of your comfort zone on some powerful climbs. And I'll see you in my next video.